Warning, this video contains graphic images of giant spiders and a giant killer wasp. If you have a fear of any of these styles of critters, this video is not for you. Well, hi there. Do you remember that video where I had the two giant spiders in the explosives magazine at work? Rather a nasty find. Normally you just squish these spiders, spray them or suck them up into a Dyson. But this time around, we decided to save these spiders and take them back into nature. I dare say most people thought, oh, how nice, the spiders are saved now. But in a savage reality check, putting the spiders back into nature was putting them into the greatest peril of all. Lurking around the trees where these spiders were put was one of the main predators of these giant spiders, and it delivers one of the most grisly and slow deaths known in nature. Oh yeah, have I got a very, very special treat for you. Uh, the amazing spider wasp, I've just seen one in action here. It's a stunner. Where I'm working is infested with huntsman spiders. Uh, spider wasps are the huntsman spiders. Worst nightmare. That's what cleans these guys up. Now, to me, that is an absolutely magnificent bit of footage. Uh, rarely do you ever see this. Very difficult to capture this sort of stuff. And what will happen is this wasp will drag the spider to a spot, then lay eggs inside it. That spider is only paralyzed, okay? So then it becomes a basically vessel for the wasp's babies. Absolutely amazing to get this. I love seeing the spider wasp in action. And the wasp certainly knows I'm here, but it is too busy uh, making sure of its survival, uh, dragging that spider to where it wants to lay its eggs. The wasp has just buzzed away and left the spider there. I bet you the wasp will return. And that husband spider there will be feeling very, very sick. Uh, mind you, it's not really dead. It is basically just paralyzed by the wasps. Well, what do the wasps do? They sting, don't they? Oh, nice and fresh. Well, I'll let the uh, spider wasp return. It's buzzed away for a while. That could be the spider we had in the explosives magazine. I'm certainly right near that area. And if I put my thing up like that there, it was over there where we had the double whammy of huntsman spiders. The wasp has returned. It's just on the tree there. I'll see if I can get any closer. I'll just keep very still here. Let the wasp come back to the spider. Not sure how well you can see that there. The wasp is down on the ground. And the wasp is just going to pick up that spider again. It's found a spider again. It's right next to the spider. Doing a bit of a hunt around. And it will drag the spider on. Just amazing to watch. I tell you, amazing. And from what I can work out, the spider wasps, they're not aggressive at all. I can be right up close. They never have a go at me. All it's interested in is that huntsman spider to make its little ones breed. I mean, it's a real special treat to see this. I mean, in nature, it's always a reminder there's always something out there to hunt you. A huntsman spider, well, birds would pick it off, but this spider wasp is probably the number one enemy. Uh, they do such a neat job of cleaning up these guys. Well, I'll let the spider wasp do what it needs to do here. Uh, very, very nice to see that in action. I love capturing things like this, which are very hard to find. I think it's very special. I hope you do as well. Well, as the spider work is busy down there, it's worth taking a look at the tree here because this is the sort of environment that the huntsman spider would love to live on. If you look up on the bark here, and we go further up and further up, it's this loose sort of bark right here that they love to get behind, and they will come out and they will pounce on whatever comes by. That's the way they work in the wild. I certainly know how they work in our house, but um, this is their natural environment. If there was a huntsman spider here, you would be very tricky to see one because they are so well camouflaged. And I would say that wasp is setting up to basically lay eggs inside the spider. So the spider wasp is doing its thing around the base of that tree there. Fairly elusive thing to see. Let me show you the tree. Get the exposure right where we released the two spiders that we had in the explosives magazine at work. Very scary, very dangerous. I hope there's no snakes here. I'm sort of in snake territory as well. And it was over here we had the huntsman spider uh, released onto this log here. Uh, once again, it's a sort of perfect little environment for them. Lizards going by there. The more you walk around here, uh, the more you'll see. Oh yeah, bring it on. Don't you love the spider wasp? I love seeing those wasps in action. I love seeing them clean up huntsman spiders. They do a fantastic job of it. It's only twice 
I've been able to capture that on camera. Uh, the first time I was very lucky, I just saw a giant spider being dragged by a very big wasp across a car park and I luckily had a camera. This time around, I thought, well, if we're getting lots of huntsman spiders at work and we're being hammered by them, those wasps are only going to be just behind them. Uh, one thing will eat another in nature. That's how nature miraculously works and thank goodness it does. Um, I better leave this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. I love seeing that wasp in action. I can look at it all day long. As always, thanks for watching and bye for now. And I'm trying not to swallow a fly, they're everywhere. Flies, don't you hate them? <laughs>